Today we're going to talk about a company I've been waiting to talk about because it's been pulling back. This is a very long term play and I don't want anybody jumping in too soon, but I also don't want you to miss out on what I'm expecting are to be some giant spikes. Uh, the company is Editus, which is a company working with CRISPR, uh, gene editing therapies to uh, work on several different issues, uh, one of them being ocular degeneration and the uh, headline curing blindness is a distinct possibility with this company. Now their gene editing uh, that they're working on was several types of um, several types of uh, hereditary blindness. Uh, basically you see the, uh, a bunch of names I can't uh, pronounce but Usher syndrome is one they're addressing and that's a uh, uh, macular degeneration syndrome that's uh, you know like I said hereditary so they can uh, identify and delete with CRISPR uh, in the womb I would assume or some kind of therapy uh, developed based on that. But basically there's three different um, systems they're working on for this Usher syndrome and it's uh, characterized like it says here by partial or total vision and hearing loss as well and uh, it's estimated to be responsible for three to six percent of childhood deafness and approximately 50 percent of adult deafness and uh, like I said there's three different systems they're working on here and just the idea of uh, this is an actual cure for blindness but it is pretty close and when the news hits what it's going to sound like to people is they have a cure for blindness and that's going to send this just skyrocketing we already saw this uh, uh we already saw this jump to highs around 90 dollars in the past and just on rumors and speculation and if we see any of these uh systems actually do pan out and receive any kind of fda approval or go start to go through the process we're just going to see this start skyrocketing and we pulled way back at a, at a great entry level now, so I think it's time to start having this on our radar for long-term play. They're also working on top of uh, macular degeneration. They're working on uh, a couple of different therapies that address different types of cancers. They're working with Bristol Myers Squibb uh, Squib on the uh, oncology side of it. And they also have uh, sickle cell. Um, that they're working on therapies for sickle cell anemia they're working on any one of these if they have any kind of success at all will just send this skyrocketing guys I mean this could be easily a hundred dollar two hundred dollar a share company in a year or two depending on how quick these therapies take to develop and just for the sake of context this is the graph of Greenwich Life Sciences and they had uh, news regarding uh, breast cancer therapy not a cure for breast cancer mind you just a therapy that was successful and then sent the share price from $5 up to about $100 in the course of one morning. So you can see just how quickly something like this can send a stock moving. And I would expect to see a much bigger move from something with news that sounds like a cure for blindness. And taking a look at the uh, Editor's Medicine uh, graph, you know, going back to the one year, you can see that they held nice and steadily through, uh, even throughout the downtrending in the market for the longest time, right at this $30 level, so between $27 and $35. And then it did have a bit of news that spiked it all the way up to the $90 level yeah, pretty quickly. And that wasn't like an actual therapeutic working out FDA approval kind of news either. That was just a uh, rumor, uh, you know, good news uh, as far as research is concerned. We can expect to see a much larger move anytime we see a, a real approval or, uh, you know, put to use of any of these therapeutics, you know, particularly ones that involve blindness. And you can see that we have been uh, returned after that spike down to this 32, uh, 33 level and you know, just the support that it's always historically held at. So we'll be watching for this to hold and I think personally this is a great time to start a long term position. I'm going to add as much as I can here. If it pulls back I'll add it quite a bit more uh, going forward because I do expect to see this just skyrocket at any of these news uh, and especially with the blindness news this could be a two three hundred dollar share stock if that actually does work out. You can see across the board they have uh, hold ratings for most analysts and that's uh, my my consensus as well is this is just something to hold and add to as much as possible while it's this cheap and have this steady uh, support level that we've seen hold uh, historically and just wait it out. Hopefully you have uh, quite a bit of a position in this when the news does finally hit and uh, like I said this is a long hard time hold so if you do want to have a contract play in this this would be something you want to get a leap for a couple of years out. Personally, I'll just be going with shares and I will be adding at every opportunity on dips until I get the catalyst I've been waiting for on this. But that's something to keep on your radar, guys. Until next time, I'm Ben. This is Modern Traders. Thanks for stopping by.